Hi, I'm going to make a simple contract to store the hash from a interplanetary file system file. Okay, so uh, I'm going to make a simple contract and I'm going to use the uh, Remix IDE just because it's very simple. New file. Boom. Um, okay, so we need a, a mapping of address to a string okay so to return this array of addresses we need to uh, specify another feature of the compiler so now we can return users so let's Recompile, redeploy, get users. So let's add a file, test, test. And now let's call get users. And there that's returned an array with my address in it. Okay, so that's, that's all we need. So if I put this address in here, I'll get test, 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 which is that. Okay, so now I can deploy it. So if I go up here to environment and change it to injected provider, I've got the uh, Ethereum test net and I have 0.2 ether. So hopefully that is enough. Deploy. It's quite cheap. Okay, so now we have the deployed contract. So the ABI for the contract that was just deployed is back on this tab. Uh, we've got these two links here. So. Um, I'm just going to save that. Okay, so now we have a contract. We now need to do the front end. So I'll make a couple of input fields and then we need to connect to the contract in the app. So let us get going. After we've added the file, we're going to want to get the files from the contract. Two things we need from um, the remix project are the ABI and the address. Okay, so I'm using Web3 modal, so we need to connect and then down here there's a bunch of on listeners okay so now we need to connect to our contract We also want to start the interplanetary file system node. And then init contracts. So to connect to a contract, uh, if we go to the documentation and Okay, so the JSON interface is the ABI file contract, which was imported before. Um, and 
next we need to um, make it possible to actually add a file. So uh, when we add a file to the interplanetary file system we will get a object as a response and that object will contain the CID which is the hash to access the file on the interplanetary file system and then once we have that hash we're going to submit that hash to the contract and then um, I'll fill out the code for this get files and that will then return any file that has been added to the to the mapping okay so now I've filled out the uh, functions let's see what we've got okay so if I connect to the contract and start the interplanetary file system now if I make a file hello world submit that file that created the CID hash and now um, we're sending this CID hash to the contract on the Ethereum testnet file added so now if I call get files we get this hash now if I go to a file explorer interplanetary file explorer and enter this hash we get we get the data so what's this give hello world there's the data so there's a uh, simple example of adding a file to the interplanetary file system and then getting the hash of the CID and putting that hash on a smart contract which might have some use cases.